Shalom. This is Rabbi Lemming again. It has been a long time since we spoke, but I want to talk about some wonderful developments that have occurred this Shabbat. This week, I brought in a fanatic settler from Kfar Tepoach, a Meshavira. His name is Ezra. And that they're using our astonishing new machine on Arab Shabbat, the Lemonizer and a Shabbat of peace songs and love. You will see what happened to a right-wing extremist. He has changed before my eyes, and I will show him to you. Ezra, come here. Yes, Rabbi Lamy. I want my pink tie. <laughs> you can, uh, oh, uh, we'll, we'll find you a pink tie. <laughs> Stand and introduce yourself. Shalom. I am Ezra Lemming. It is nice to look on all of you. I had a wonderful Shabbat in Be'er Sheva at my friend Rabbi Lemming, my mentor, and my Rav. This Shabbat, we were going to read from Parshat Vayikra. However, I protested. I said, this is not the way. This parsha speaks of many, many violent acts that are done to animals. We do not appreciate it. And I would like Rabbi Lemming to give over the beautiful Torah Shior that he gave over to all of these people who dared to try read from the Torah. Rabbi Lemming, please. <laughs> yes. As you can see, it's a work in progress, but it is so beautiful. When he came, he was fanatic and racist, and had crazy ideas about throwing Arabs out. And after Shabbat, after being zapped by the lemonizer, and being given a, ve a vegan diet on Shabbat, and special Torah, and songs of love, we did not sing Alei Barikado. We did not sing uh, Avram Stern's song, the fanatic. We did not sing such songs. We sang Loi Sagoy El Goy Cherev. It is Rachel true. Darach is my favorite song. Yes. In Shul we sang that too before the reading of the Torah, which is hard for us to understand today, even us in the, in the Zionists. Slaughtering animals. It's very strange. What is this need we have to slaughter animals? Don't we know that taking lives is wrong? We know Noah. Before Noah, we didn't eat meat. It was improper. So I think we have to understand. Stop it. I just received a message from Facebook, but I am busy right now. So if you can wait a minute, Mr. Live Messenger, I will return to you. However, I think we need to understand that, of course, it is the word of God. Perhaps, in some context, sacrifices were given. But that does not mean we do it today. I think the message is to see how cruel we were to animals. Don't return to that level. We no longer need the Mikdash. Today we can talk to Hashem in our own way. And not necessarily Hashem. That is for a Yehudi. If we are an Arab, we can pray to Allah. We can pray to Buddha if we are Buddhists. These are the righteous of the world. The righteous Gentiles. Who are we to say? Jesus, it's true. We don't believe in him. He was not a prophet. But Jesus brought love for Christians, for, for them. There are some who say they must be Bnei No, it is not true. True. If they are Bnei they're welcome to do so. But for Christians, Christianity is fine. There is no reason we should tell them why they can't worship in the manner of their heart. Jesus was a Jew. It's true, we don't worship him as a god or a prophet. Nevertheless, he was trying to make changes. There were elements of good within Jesus. We know he probably was pushed away out of hate and what could have been a good progressive man to make good changes, not to sell lulubs for such high prices, things so that a common man could afford. We know he was thrown aside and cast. And what became of that? And whether or not we crucified him, we could have shown him more love. It's, it's true. It's true. So we shouldn't judge others. If this man worships Vishnu, it's not our way. But perhaps it is a way for a Gentile. 
it's a little more complicated with the missionaries that prey on Jewish souls. And that I cannot, I cannot uh, support that. Nevertheless, they have the right to be in the country. I don't support the right to reach out to people. But if they do so, who am I to raise a fist or use the legal system and the democracy to tell them they can't do something that I don't like, perhaps? It's not for me. They will have to find the way of their own. But I just want to say that this Shabbat Hagadol, and I want to tell you that we are not celebrating the death of the Mitzrayim, no. We don't say Hallel. My creatures are dying. We spill the wine out because of the knuckle. It is not about that. It is about freedom. It is about pluralism. It is about the ability to worship as one sees fit. To have a freedom say there. And I would have homosexuals. Not because, yes, it's true, we don't approve of homosexual behavior in the Torah. But we must love them. And many of them are wonderful. And exploration is a part of growth. And so, just, I'm happy to say that this Ezra, I hope he does not go back tonight. He's not ready. I told him to pack his bags and come back to Hartzion. Hashalom. That's another good yeshiva. <laughs> not my yeshiva, but another good yeshiva. I told him to come back to Haifa, to Hashalom, where he spent Shabbat. We have strawberry colonic baths. Schwitzes, new Schwitzes with the Bachram. Basketball. There are many activities. We have kibbutzim nearby where we volunteer and we help. Interfaith dialogue, working with Arabs, giving them a higher standard of life, showing them you needn't choose violence. That if you work a field and plant olives, perhaps there is love there. If you plant an olive with a Jew, can you hurt a Jew? And vice versa. I'm glad to say that the Lemonizer is working and I hope to bring it to coming soon to Tapuach and the other Shtachim. And these unfortunate Meshuganas could use a zap of the Lemonizer. It is not a gun, heaven forbid, it is a machine with a, with a very pleasant buzz. It takes a few minutes and then a little time. And it works, it works, it changes the features almost. You become, how shall I say, lemon-like, dare I say it? It brings a certain kind of love out, both physically and spiritually. So it is a good week. I hope to send him back and have him bring some of his his fellow community members because they could use a zap of this lemonizer, which will change the world yet. There may yet be a Nobel Peace Prize for Rabbi Lemon. Shalom. Have a wonderful week.